So out of 39 teams that registered, we came down to you three finalists. We have a panel of seven judges. We've asked you to present ten dishes. You have three hours to get it all together. What we're hoping to accomplish with the contest is for students to be more interested in where their food is coming from and having the options available to make more sustainable choices when they're in their cafeterias. Students get involved, teachers help the students and it helps the community within each school and that just reinforces how important and how much fun something like this can really be. Our menu items include a honey lime stuffed chicken with a side plate of a gourmet potato. It's like a potato, but it's made out of a cauliflower. And then we also have a squash soup. We're making large pasta shells, and they're going to be stuffed with some Ontario produce and with some cheese. Our side dishes are an Ontario salad and Ontario bruschetta. Our main entry is a wrap, and it's a roasted pumpkin chicken wild rice. It's a mouthful, but it's really good. And then we have a side dish, it's a spicy corn salad. It's fast, and easy, and something to brighten you up. It looks good, but it also tastes good. So after they try it once, I think they'll recommend it to other people. I think our recipe is really awesome, and because we use the local products, we know that it's going to taste better and it's good for you. I believe the ours is very different, very appealing to the eye as well, and they have a lot of flavors, so I think it would bring in the students. This is their chance to actually say, we know this is tasty food, we know we can do it local, and we want to win so that we can see this dish in Peel District School Board cafeterias in the fall. Very, very tasty. The appearance of the meal is very well done. The soup is excellent. It has a good complexity to it. There's a nice depth to it. The fact that they use butternut squash, it's fantastic in terms of local access. They are in it to win it. We want to thank you all for your hard work. In terms of the decision making, in third place is the group Friday. Second is Gourmet Society One. And obviously, <laughs> We have to bring what we had to the table. We brought it the fullest. We made the dishes the best as our ability as we could. And you know, I guess it turned out for the best. Cooking with my friends over here, Team make work. having a good time, teamwork, and uh, bringing it home for making afterwards. a difference. <laughs> The winning team, they also win a trip to a local farm so that they can learn a little bit more about local food practices. Good day's work. You're looking cool, buddy. I've never been to a farm, and to see it like this, it's nice, nice and peaceful out here. I haven't really experienced being on a farm before, so everything was new. It was all about the stereotypes, the overall southern accent, but it's different, a lot of fresh air. It's more real when you're actually in it. This is what people actually do. This is their work. They make sure that they're growing stuff for Ontario. This is something I wouldn't experience, especially coming from the city. I'm grateful for just that meal. Like I usually have like meat and fast food and stuff like that, but the thing is it tasted good too, and it was local, so I appreciate like this whole experience. This is the most important place on the farm because this is where we start all of our vegetables. If we didn't have this greenhouse, we would be starting stuff much later in the field. Our role is for teenagers to just start to have a relationship with their food, to understand the story from the seed to the plate. They're the next wave of champions and consumers for the environment. They're the next generation who will carry the torch and make this movement grow. Local food! <laughs> When you're eating local food, you're supporting a more sustainable way of producing food, distributing food, and consuming it. It's healthier for you, it's better for the environment, and these are all important factors to a healthy future and healthy communities. Yay! Peel Region has a number of local food options, from farms themselves to grocery stores, smaller restaurants, and health food stores. So there are actually lots of options, and we're just trying to build upon those options by getting more local food in the school cafeterias. You can choose to eat a local food instead of eating a food that's from somewhere far away. You're kind of like you're not being greedy, you're choosing the right stuff and you're helping out your community. When we show this to the other teens, they'll probably be surprised at how they can eat local food instead of waiting to go to McDonald's or something. Local food is like a Canadian pride. It's something personal. You're like, oh, I saw this grow, I grew it in my garden, I like local food. And it's this makes me happy. Before I didn't think of it as that important to eat local food. I was just like, whatever, eat what I eat. 
but you learn that it is more important. Before I started this project, I always used to eat like junk food and like the food shipped from other countries, but now I think I would choose local food. We always knew about local food, but we never really brought local foods into our recipes. So throughout this project, we learned how to do that. I think it gave us more of a perspective on why to choose local food, that it's better, and that we have a big variety. This is Canada. This is Canada. Good things grow in Ontario. Local food satisfies your mood. Good things grow in Ontario.